Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask! As we take to the skies once again in this area, the place has been flipped back round again. Which makes me really worried that we're going to have to constantly flip this place to be able to get stuff like stray fairies and the whatnot. I don't really want to be going and doing that if you know what I mean. It looks like that might be the case more or less. But let's press onwards here. Pass as hip loop guy. And into this mysterious chamber. You can't get me here, can you? Ha! Suck it. Let's turn back to normal because is this the corridor we swam through? Yes, it is. With I wonder if that hand's still there ready to grab us. Or if there's a chest going to appear. A gold chest, in fact, which is going to make us instantly go back. Damn it. I actually have to fight him again. I thought I was done with him. Give me that. I wonder if I can kill you with this straight. I can, in fact. Right. Hook shot in the face until he dies. It's funny how that little arrow remains. Let's find out what's in the chest. Yet another small key. Great. Now, where are we going to put it? That's the real question. Oh, let's keep going along this way. It seems to be a new route. Though, mind you, uh... Thinking about it. Hello, evil hand. Can't even kill you with that. Okay, evil hand, do not grab me because... Hand, can you chuck me over there? There seems to be a key door. I would like to go over there. Please throw me back in the tunnel. Great. That's how we get the rupees, at least. But it seems that we can't go further that way. That room is completely and utterly devoid of being able to be used after we flipped it. Which is interesting, actually, because if we flip it back, we should be able to use the light arrows to get rid of all the... all our barriers to getting in there. Should we not? That's interesting. If we flip it back round yet again, we should be able to enter that room cleanly. Okay, that is through that door up there, but there's no way to activate the chest over there, I'd imagine. So how do I go forward with this key? Where does this key fit in? That's the real question right now. Straight ahead of us isn't a door, is it? It's just a door on top. The chest. It's time to look round a little bit here again. No, no such luck. Oh, there was the key door up on high, was there not? Great to finally remember something like that after all. Let's move onwards. It seems we can flip things around inside this room, which ain't so good. Wouldn't be that handy what's down below us. Okay then. We can't jump up of our own accord. We're just going to have to flip back and forth and... Well, I could just personally turn into Goron Link because we know he's going to... Oh no, yeah, but I can't flip it as Goron Link. Problematic. Well, we're just going to land up there anyway if we flip it here, so let's do that. We should land quite safely, even if we don't. Flip the room! We can make it quite nicely over walking across the platforms like this. However, the next question comes, is there anything secret here? 
Well, I have to shoot it from here. No, I don't. I can just walk right up. And shoot it from point blank, surely. Flip it over and I should be right where we need to be. It's nice how Link rearranges himself in an interesting fashion there. Don't even see what the middle platform's for, really. More flipping rooms, however. There's something interesting on the floor down there. You have to be frozen to be able to get us up? No, you're just there to provide us. But the arrow is required, right. Hmm, let's look up onto the roof here. Seems like on the other side... Excuse me, sir, we need to find out what's going on. We need the block to go here? So we need to flip this room several times then, by the look of it. Which is why those guys are there, to regen constantly and make sure we have enough magic and arrows. This flipping mechanic is puzzling! So I guess the surfaces have different textures. Allowing us to push along different pathways. So we now need to get it into center. Now not climb it. Push it. So that should be fine for that. Killed by a light arrow, sir. Well, look at the arrow. That's weird. Now I just need to push it all the way over the other side. Oh, you jumped right over me, sir. That's quite a fail. Same as the guy who jumped into the light arrow. That was quite idiotic of you. And with one more flip, we should be able to get it into place. Actually, we need two more flips. We can at least get it down here and lined up. I guess Mr. Arrow guy's right ahead of us here. It seems he can't see me behind the block. Come on, Jelly is full with me. Where am I going now, actually? Two more pulls this direction, I imagine. Don't hurt me, friend. We're all in this together. Can't you see we're all part of one gigantic puzzle? Is that far enough? Or will one more push? Line it up, aim, fire. That should be in the right place. He says, but no, it's completely the opposite way, unless things are twisting in a weird fashion. I'm really confused now. Are things twisting in a different way than I thought they were? Oh, well, let's just twist it again. I'm really w weirded out by the twisting of the room. Because it goes sideways, not upside down, so... Yeah, I pushed that really the wrong way. I don't understand how my brain was perceiving the flipping there. That was really odd in, in and of itself. Hi, green guy, I need you in a second. So all I can do is push it up a couple more and I still have to flip it again to put it in naturally. Which I think is what confused me. I thought one more push would do it, so therefore I pulled it to the one which would have lined up straight. Seems you can't hurt me while I'm pushing- OW! Actually, you can't hurt me whatsoever, can you, guy? You don't do enough damage to break through my heart shield's barrier. Right, 
Right, that'll go over the right way. And finally, we get it in. That was a little bit of a confusing perspective puzzle for me, that's for sure. Mind you, with that, in fact, we should be using this a bit more often here, making sure that we're not missing any fairies. A whiz robe! We fought you many times before, sir. You need to give up. Except, uh, my mini-map's a bit confused here. Oh, okay, you're up there. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Right. Bunny hood is what we usually have on, so we can reach. Sir! Even though we beat you normally ridiculously easily, it seems this time around I'm having a little bit of confusion. Take double damage. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there, then. So that was highly irritating of you to have the boulder land on me from above. The extra jump attack, however, deals with you quite quickly. Let's hope nothing else falls on our head in the meantime. We can hook you up to that chest, no problem. Do we not want to flip this room or something? Is there a way? And oh, we've already been in this room. Oh, okay. It's the room with the... Don't know how to say it. The... Armos? The guys that bounce around after we blow them up? Pull ourselves up to the next location using this chest. And get moving! Don't know why I'm so confused with the puzzles this episode. I think if you change the perspective round of something I already know. Ah, straight fairy left. 12 1! And for some reason I get really messed up. Posed by the billions. Right, can I kill the other one from here? It will light arrow kill you in one shot. Not that you're actually appearing for me to finish you off, mind you. You're just going to be highly irritating guys who stand around and do nothing. Until I take off and take flight. And then you're going to be very, very irritating, aren't you? That was an interesting noise. There's a ghost nearby then, I imagine. Anyway, let's use our DQ. Hop over the other side, which I assume is our only option. There's doors up in the other ways, but I imagine they'll be up one way only. Rick, I've become a gigantic nut. You can't get me now. In fact, I can't hit you at all with Deku Link. Which is fairly interesting. We've got a post soul, though. A light arrow should kill you pretty easily, that's for sure. We'll leave you, sir. We don't need your postal. Oh, it appears we have... Okay. Nice to see you again, sir. Now, but we have several routes to take. One straight over. One to the side. Hello, sir. We've met you before. We know that we can flip you upside down. But we don't actually have a clue of what that can do for us. We've made ourselves another treasure chest, that's for sure. Yeah, I assumed I was going to get hit by something there. Oh. 
I don't know where I'm jumping to, but okay, we got away. That thing is weird. I'm not sure exactly how we can defeat that thing, but we got ourselves another treasure chest for flipping the whole place around yet again. I have a feeling we're going to meet a lot of these places that do that kind of thing. Now, here's a question. Can I knock those mines into each other and make them explode, go away, so I can get through quite nicely? The answer would be yes. The answer would be yes. So all the thing we're looking to do is get into that middle section. I don't like that mine bobbing around, but we have access. Can you try to attack me, Jars? Can't go that way. Oh, the treasure chest above us, isn't there? An open one, yes. We do, in fact, need this way to go forward. Question is, we haven't taken out that mine there. And that enabled, well, that made us have to go a long way round. But we can just barely make it. Great. Let's keep moving forward. At least moving through the temple seems pretty fast now. We're running out of arrows quite nastily, or at least magic to use our light ones. So let's keep some supply there. Take you guys out easily from range. And keep on moving. Give me some magic. In fact, lots of stuff, so I'd have to assume that coming through the next door, a mini boss. So, what are these bats gonna do? Hello, sir. Well, no, for you, Grim Reaper friend. It's Gomez. There'll be no end to it if you can't get those bats away from it. Does that shed any light on the situation? Ho, ho, ho. Does that mean just light arrows? Or does that mean... There's things I can burn around to bring light in. Ow, sir. Nice, nice sickle moves there. Get a jump attack in there. Nice knock away, sir. The bats didn't come back fast enough, so if we can get the jump attack in, we will. Hey, wait a second, I just knocked your bats away, didn't I? Seems I can't hit you, there we go. Can't hit you with stabs, that's for sure. Jump attack to finish you off, Gomez. Cool little cutscene there. You all gonna like deposit hearts and oh no items? That sucks. Wasn't much of a hard boss, to be honest, though. Tattle gave us all the information we needed. Well, I am slightly wondering. Ah, boss key is our reward! Lovely jubbly. But with the boss key earned, where is it we go next? Because I've not seen a boss door anywhere. You got the boss key now, you can enter the chamber where the boss lurks, but where is that? I've not seen it at all, I'm pretty sure. So let's check the dungeon map here. We've entered every single room, so the boss key has to be somewhere. So we've got the first floor room. It needs a small key and then passed through the main chamber. By the look of it, we've still got three more stray fairies, a hell of a lot of treasure chests deposited around the place, that's for sure. May I need to flip the place yet again? It looks like it to me. Well, 
Well, this is an odd conundrum now. Now, where do we go from here? We've done the flip side of the temple. Uh, where do we go for the normal side yet again? Excuse me, guys. Get out of the way. Well, I'm going to end the episode here while I try to figure that out. I'm going to head back out. Flip it back around unless we can. I find something on the way. So join me next episode for more of the Stone Temple. And I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye. They respawned.